What is going on, everyone? Might go back with another Mail Day recap, showing off some pickups for the personal collection. Always fun to pick up cards, to enjoy cards, and to share cards with fellow collectors. I appreciate all you guys who tune in today, comment, and such. This is going to be another one of those typical Myco Mail Days, and things evolve over time. Things have changed a little bit. Over the years, now my pickups generally are Phillies. Um, there are a couple non-Phillies mixed in here as well. And I really do appreciate all eras of cards. Pre-war, vintage, and modern. Or modern and ultra-modern, whatever, however you want to classify it. Just enjoy all eras. I really, truly enjoy collecting the players that I'm watching now, that is incredibly fun, but also the players from my childhood, the players from years ago that, you know, provided great memories for me. Absolutely amazing to collect, but also the historical players, the rarities, the oddballs are also really, really fun. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy what you see and let me down below. Let me know down below. Let's get into the cards, into the pickups here. So, got in this Tops Now card. I always pick up all the Phillies Tops Now cards. There's actually ones from years ago that are incredibly difficult to find. And uh, they're very, very pricey if you want to add them. So, I just pick up one of each one. They uh, go in the binder with the Ultimate Tops team set. I just include them in it every year because it's just a uh, kind of a little look back at some of the top moments from that season and you know sometimes you just kind of have a bland 80 win season and other times things blossom into a memorable season such as last year so this is one of the few the Phillies have had this year it's an Alec Boehm from April 10th led the Phillies offense with six RBIs and a 15 to 3 victory so pretty cool that that came in so happy to add that but obviously not a huge deal um Next up, a Bryce Harper Refractor from 2022 Top Stadium Club Chrome. The refractors are definitely a little more difficult to get. Take you a ton to get one of these by opening it. It costs you a ton, so if you can pick one up at a good price, why not do it? Nice little shine there. Nice image of Harper. So happy to add that to the Bryce Harper collection. Picked up this 1964 Weedy Stamp of Ray Culp. See him down there. It looks like he's down there. Well, he's definitely down there in Clearwater, as you can see from the signage. So taken during spring training, that image. So pretty cool little oddball item for the Phil's collection. And then we have some slabs. We have jumbo slabs and we have basic size slabs. And we have slabs from every company, PSA, SGC, and CSG. Well, the three big companies, I should say. First up, just a base 2020 Topps Chrome Bryce Harper in a Gem 10. I'll pick up a Gem 10 if I can get it at a good price. Um, when I grade nowadays, I'm usually sending to SGC or CSG. I just, uh, between price and wait time, and wait time being a major factor, I don't see the advantage of using PSA at this point. Unless you're literally trying to squeeze every penny out of every card, I don't get it. It's a bigger headache, a longer wait, and uh, I don't personally think it's any sort of uh, substantial advantage grading with them in terms of the grade or the quality of the grade. I think the other companies have made, uh, made great strides in that, and the customer service um, is definitely lacking. All right, next up is 2019 Bowman Heritage, Fernando Tatis Jr. Gem 10. This is one that was purchased a while ago and then just came in in an order where it was sitting in a vault, but had to come back. This is one I'm definitely going to end up most likely listing. I do like 2019 Bowman Heritage uh, with the Bowman color design, but I do have uh, quite a bit of Tatis rookie stuff in the collection and I don't feel like I need everything. And honestly, it's a chance I have one of those. All right, next up, this one I was super excited to find. I was shocked that it was even graded with CSG. 
but I will take it. 1922 E-121, American Caramel, Fred Williams, series of 120, in a VG, three and a half, so that's an absolute beauty. You can see there, 120 baseball stars of the American and National Leagues, made only by the American Caramel Company, Lancaster and York, Pennsylvania. Beautiful thing there. Cy Williams, one of the Phillies uh, power hitters in the 1920s, won a couple home run titles. So one of the Phillies uh, early offensive sluggers. So very cool to, and happy to add that and got that one at a great price. A few SGC slabs now. This is a 1952 Topps Bobby Shanson, a one and a half. I just can't resist a Bobby Shanson at a good price. Overall, really nice appeal. I appeal of this card. There is a crease right here, which brought it down. A little spot down there. But overall, looks really, really nice for a 52 Topps. One of the big reasons it took a beating was because of the uh, tape stains, glue stains on the back. But... I'll live with that. And again, not an expensive card at all. And it's one of those I don't mind having multiples uh, whatsoever. So Bobby Shantz, local guy from Philadelphia, star with the A's, MVP with the A's. Also pitched with the Phils in 1964, as well as some other teams. Um, had a fabulous major league career. And then final one is a 1960 top Stan Musial in a one and a half. Again, sizable crease there, but solid centering. And outside of that crease, a nice, nice card. And if I can pick up an underrated Hall of Famer at a cheap price, never going to say no. So cool Stan the main. All right, two more cards to show off. I've got a 1954 Redman Tobacco Robin Roberts in a VGEX4 with tab. The Redmans are generally pretty affordable and super, super cool. I feel like they're not high, super highly uh, collected just because of the size, at least by like newer vintage collectors. The old school guys, for sure, but they're always cool to pick up. Robin Roberts, Hall of Famer, all-time great. Really one of the all-time Phillies greats. And I feel like for a period of time, he was like Mr. Philly, and he's become very, very overshadowed over the last 30, 40 years as the Phillies have, you know, went on and won a pair of World Series, um, produced some other Hall of Fame players. I, I feel like he just doesn't get as much attention as even some of the other uh you know, Hall of Fame players the Phillies have had over the years. So, um, always cool to pick up a Robin Roberts. And then the final pickup, and shout out to Michael Shane for helping me with this. This was in the REA auction. It's a 1910 sepia postcards, PC 796, Red Doing in a 3.5 VG+. Just not something you're going to see very much. I was looking at some of the items in their auction and this is one, you know, when you go to VCP, there's like three sales over a 10-year period. And they're just not something that are super readily available. So you want to try and make a play for it. And uh, it's a fine addition to the collection. It's kind of crazy when you think about it. Well over 100-year, 100 120-year postcard. Like, how has the postcard itself survived? And in my opinion, in fantastic shape. I mean, the grade is irrelevant. For a card like this, I mean, it does have some relevancy, and I'm sure some people care. I don't. Um, three and a half looks like an 11. I mean, considering its age and such, absolutely beautiful. Doohan was a catcher for the Phillies. He played for them for about 13 years, managed the Phillies for a couple years as well. Um, didn't put up great offensive numbers, but was around for quite a while in the early 1900s, so... Super, super cool. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. So happy to add that. And those are the recent pickups. Wanted to share them with you. Appreciate you guys watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to watching your pickups as well. If you have a channel and you don't see me um, 
you don't think I'm subscribed to your channel, feel free to let me know down below and I will click on your channel, give you a sub and make sure I check out as many of your videos as I can when I have a chance. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.